Yeah, no, I mean, I think that's probably the most important thing that uh, the guys found a way to win. They found a way to make enough plays. Giannis with an incredible pass to Grayson, and Grayson delivers with a made basket. And Grayson had a couple of big drives, you know, a finish and then a drop off to Bobby. And um, I thought Grayson was was really, really um, big for us in overtime, big for us all night. Um, so, yeah, you know, I mean, we were up 21, so we played really well for about 45 minutes. And um, a lot of things um, – you know, happen in the last three minutes where we need to get better and improve. Uh, but, you know, to find a way to win in overtime after those circumstances uh, is the most important thing. Anything in particular stood out about that last 350 to 333 on one Everything. Round? And then Mark Lopez, once again, has the, the double-digit rebound. And after the game yesterday, he talked about the fact that normally he's tapping it to people and other people are getting the rebounds. I'm just wondering... The, what you've seen these past two from him being sort of getting towards himself. Yeah, no, I mean, he's, uh, you know, it feels like he's, you know, he does an amazing job of getting his body on people, uh, creating space with his size. And, um, you know, he's just been controlling the ball a little bit more, it feels like, um, you know, the last couple games. And, you know, Giannis has to guard Siakam, so he's maybe in some different spots. And, using a lot of energy to do that. So, um, but yeah, Brooks rebounding has been huge and, you know, his presence at the end was big, um, in overtime, couple of deflections, block shots, rebounds, um, you know, big for us. Go to Zoom, Jim. Like, uh, just a couple of things. How did, how did their press that full court really disrupt things and maybe help them kind of get back into it those, those final minutes of, of regulating? Um, yeah, I mean, they, a couple of turnovers trying to inbound the ball against the press. Um, you know, it felt like if we got the ball in, we were able to get it across half court, and then we had a couple turnovers in the half court, um, you know, that you just can't have, um, that we got to work on and improve. Did, did you get an explanation at all on the, the Siakam, Bobby, I guess, physical contact there in front of your bench that it looked like you were – Looking for a view, or what, what, what did you hear from the there? Yeah, I have no comment. I'm just going to keep those conversations private. They got a tough job. Um, that's a tough play in the corner. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that. I, I guess for you, what, what was the. I, I know Fred hit the two threes after you subbed out the, the regulars, um, and then they came back in. Just sort of what was, the, I guess, the thought there, and then. I mean, I, it was only a few seconds, but do you, do you think that was just enough for Toronto to, to, to feel it, I guess, and maybe use the home front? Yeah, you know, I mean, um, uh, definitely after, you know, um, hindsight, you know, thinking about it, I would do it differently. I wouldn't take the guys out, um, but up 20 um, on a back-to-back, -back, um, you know, you hope that uh, you can finish that out, but... Um, you know, a uh, 6-0 run in the matter of felt like, you know, 15 to 20 seconds. And um, that probably gave them the life, uh, you know, then to, to, to take it all the way down. Um, so it's uh, unfortunate and um, we'd like to be better, um, including myself. Eric? Well, if you had a challenge left with 10 seconds, were you told that that is an unreviewable play because it was a non-call? Yes. Uh, I mean, I could challenge the out of bound. I could challenge the out of bounds call. I could not challenge the uh, the fact that it was a foul. Um, Siakam running Bobby over in the corner. I couldn't challenge that. Thank you. Um, with with Brooke on Scotty Barnes, it felt like for three quarters that idea really worked, and then in the fourth quarter, Barnes was able to tackle a little bit more. What did you like about that matchup for Brooke, and how did you think he did? Yeah, you know, similar to what you said, you know, I think for a lot of the game, um, you know, it was successful and um, credit to Barnes, you know, he he um, he got to the paint, and had a few finishes, but, um, you know, Brooke in a one on one situation at the rim. I think that's something we like. And, uh, you know, over the course of 48 minutes, uh, you know, I think that's putting Brooke in his strength. Uh, John has had eight points to the half. He finishes with 30. He also finishes with 10 assists. Just what do you see on that final pass to Grayson and then just kind of him being in attack mode the whole night? 
Yeah, I mean, the, the last pass to Grayson is just, you know, the fact he gets to the paint, the fact he gets to the rim, and then um, it felt like it was a dart to Grayson, hit him right in his shooting pocket. Just um, big-time play, big-time pass, and, uh, you know, Grayson was able to knock it down. And, you know, I think Giannis, um, you know, on a back-to-back, -back, he, he used a lot, of, a lot of energy both last night, tonight. Um, you know, they're very physical, um, you know, so for him to find a way to, to, to get us over the top was huge. Thank you, All right, thank you guys.